Welcome to the podcast that was voted one of the best in the marketing research industry, first in 2019 and again in 2020. This is Research Business Daily Report, the only daily research news video for the last 10 years, and we've been presenting a look at one of the top stories important to members of the industry Monday through Thursday most weeks since then. RBDR does rely on viewers' support, so you can pitch in by contributing at patreon.com slash rbdr. A little bit more about that later. I'm Bob Lederer, and I'm in my 26th year as the respected voice in market research. Today we're going to divert from our usual coverage by delivering three brief but important research items, and ironically, the first two deal with client insights departments, one positive, one negative. Wall Street Journal technology beat writer Jeff Horowitz reported on NBC's Meet the Press that inside Facebook, senior management is blaming its own researchers for their efforts that show that Instagram's photo sharing app can have a negative psychological effect on young women's body images. Now, that was a piece of information that Facebook was well aware of all the way up to the top and decided to do nothing about it. So they decided to blame research for having come up with it in the first place. Next, PepsiCo claimed continuation of a competitive advantage over its rivals. In releasing third quarter financial results, which, by the way, were up an impressive 11.6% in revenues. But in research circles, we want you to note CEO and Chairman Ramon LaGuardia's comments about PepsiCo's innovation pipeline, which he said remains strong, and he attributed that to connections between better consumer insights inside PepsiCo and PepsiCo's R&D. And finally, smart glasses are back. You may recall they were discontinued a few years back by Google and uh, a test market that they had done. Now, Chinese company Enreal has smart glasses that feature augmented reality as a key feature. For instance, you can stream on these YouTube. You can also play mobile games. And Enreal has a less costly air smart glass that can project a 201-inch virtual screen when it's connected to a phone. And we can only imagine the potential use of smart glasses for research, but there will be implications and they will not be far down the road. That's a wrap on today's Research Business Daily Report. Now, as we mentioned at the start of today's video, we hope you'll become a supporter, an RBDR Patreon supporter. And that means agreeing to provide a monthly contribution, usually via a credit card, and we suggest perhaps 5 to $10 for an individual. So you're talking about $120 a year, and maybe $25 or more if you're a company. Both help us defray costs and maintain what we think is an excellent report. Recently, we welcomed two new Patreon supporting research organizations, Rare Patient Voice and Survey Healthcare, and we thank both for recognizing and supporting the value that RBDR does bring to the marketplace. For the remainder of you viewing us today, what can we do to earn your support? We are bold enough to suggest that if you're watching RBDR with any regularity or even once in a while, well, maybe you should be helping us out. Please visit RBDR's exclusive crowdfunding platform at patreon.com slash RBDR, where you can select whatever level of support is comfortable for you. And whatever that level may be, we want to thank you for and in advance. And while we await your decision, we do hope you have a good research day. And in fact, we'll be back here to welcome you back tomorrow. And until then, please take whatever steps you need in order to stay safe.